Hey guys, I've got a super exciting video for you today. It's another scent video. I have giveaways, I have coffins to show you. I have Halloween themed wax melts, which is just perfect as we're in the month of October and Halloween is fast approaching. And this video today is proudly brought to you by Bubba's Melts, an independent company from the UK. So let's get into it. Hey, I'm Evelina Damori. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are fabulous. I'm feeling good. And let's just take a second before we dive into the video to talk about our mental health. And this will come up a little bit throughout this video and you'll know why in a second. It's so easy these days with Instagram and how busy our lives are to just forget and check if everybody's okay. So just take a moment and check that you're doing okay. You know, if you're not, send me a message, send a friend a message, send someone a message, reach out and make sure that you're doing okay. So I'm super excited about today's video because it's another collaboration that I came up with and it's in a coffin. So I think we should just start with this because I want to show you what's inside and tell you how you can get it. So Barbara's Melts contacted me on Instagram and they are a company in Northern Ireland. I already like it. And I'm just at their website and I wanted to read you one paragraph because I think it pretty much sums up the company. We make homemade scented vegan friendly soy blended candles and wax melts inspired by chronic illness, mental illness and disability. When I was first contacted by Bubba's Melts on Instagram and I went to their website to check out what was going on, I was immediately hit by two things. One was humor within the products, which I fucking love, <laughs> as you'll see in a moment. And the second was the substance behind it. I don't think depression is linked entirely to the gothic subculture, but a lot of goths are depressed. A lot of non-goth people are depressed. So I like that you can buy a candle that's called depression. They've got wax melts called bipolar. And these aren't things as a society that we should be afraid to talk about. So I personally think it's a really lighthearted way to combine something that I love, which is sense, with something else that is quite serious, like mental health and disability. All oh, right, that was a lot of thinking. So let's get straight into my coffin. So I was asked to pick a scent and I didn't want to repeat myself because as you know, the candle that sold out, I need to mention that, for Wickedy Whack was pretty much a dupe of black opium. Let's just say it, it was. So I wanted to choose something different, a scent that I like a lot and a scent that Von has always liked. There was an occult store back in Sydney that closed absolutely years ago, but he used to go in there and buy frankincense and myrrh. He would always have his oil burner on in what would be our very first recording studio. So it's a scent that is very near and dear to my heart. Oh, she's done such a lovely job with these. They come in a coffin. Do I need to say more? And just in time for Halloween. They had a little bow on them, but I unpacked it and the kids almost destroyed everything. They unpacked all the bows and I've got one here with a pumpkin on it that nearly came off. I had to hide this box because I think I got it a good month ago. And I learned, I learned from the Wickedy Whack one that I need to keep this stuff away from the kids because they just get into it. Oh, look, it's a pumpkin. Like, yeah, it's cute. It's not fair. Okay, so going back to this collaboration, she asked me to choose a shape. And I'm like, well, I like crosses. I like them this way. I like them that way. So if you were to order one of these, you'll get this lovely coffin box, which you can keep and put like little trinkets or jewelry in. Oh, and you will get six of these wax melts. So as I was saying, I was asked to choose a shape and I said, well, give me a big fat cross, of course. And then I said, oh, can we put blood drips on it? And then the little bit of glitter is just a little bit of extra. So I'm super extra. Like my shirt says, fancy as fuck. So you'll get six of them and they're really big. If they're too big for your wax melt, you just break it. I mean, it's a shame too, but if you like plonk it in like that, it will melt and then the rest will go in. It's a shame to melt it as well as getting six of the largest black crucifixes that smell very nice. You also get this little guy here, this little skull dude. He is also frankincense and myrrh and he has a good blood drip on it. Okay, I'm just going to do some sped up footage. What do they call this? Speed footage of my lovely crucifix melting. Oh, it smells so good. My kids were like, why is there blood on everything? I'm like, yeah, I just like blood. That's, there's nothing to that. Before I opened this, it was really nicely folded. It has the little Bubba's Melt sticker on there. The lid was on top and 
the bow was done up. So like I said, my kids went through everything, so it's kind of already unboxed. But if you order something, yours will arrive pretty much like that, which is really nice. It's a nice little treat that you should buy for you and your best little goth friend. So that's my collaboration. I, I, don't, know, I don't know nothing, actually. <laughs> I don't know the price. I know you can get it on her website. I know she's going to release this the same day that I released the video, so I will put all the details in the description below. I hope you can get your hands on one of these because you need them in your life. I don't believe it's going to be a limited run like the Wickedy Whack Candle was. That sold out and a lot of people were disappointed because they weren't able to get it. Having said that, she is only one person, so they will sell out, but I'm sure she'll be able to make more and I will certainly post when they're back in stock on my Instagram and things like that. Okay, I've got so many things to show you. So maybe frankincense and mo isn't the scent for you. Maybe pumpkin spice is more down your alley. So you can buy these individually, like I'm going to show you in a second, in these little packets, or you can get like the gift boxes, which I think is a nice little addition. And again, that little pumpkin there is so cute. This one is full of orange skulls. I can't say orange, orange, orange. Ooh, pumpkin spice and marshmallow. Where's the marshmallow? Or is it, oh, okay, it's not, it's like, I get the sweetness. It's, you know, pumpkin spice is a very specific scent, so this is a little sweeter. That's probably what the marshmallow is doing to it. Ugh. I've actually already melted one of those because as soon as Steel saw the skull, he's like, Mom, show me what it does, and I had to put it in and melt it straight away. Got one more coffin here that just says, Sacrificial blood. Oh, I wish I knew how to, like, oh. <laughs> I just sound like a seal. I don't know how to grow up. <laughs> Ooh, honest reactions. Okay, so this one, Witch's Brew and Berries. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I get the berries. Oh, that's a mature smell. You know how I picked my favorite with Wickedy Wax? Doing the same here. So these are beautiful. They've got black pentagrams on them with a little bit of glitter. Oh, that smell though. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the berries. That's earthy but sweet in a subtle way berries i'm getting like dark cherry from that oh that's lovely okay that's probably my favorite is it it can't be better than my frankincense and myrrh yeah that's just so different that's frankincense and myrrh like oh yeah okay they're my top two favorites i don't got so many more to go through. we can't do this so that is the sacrificial blood coffin oh i've got so many things to show you here so i think i'm going to start with one of the funny ones. And this is when I contacted the lady. I was like, I love this. I love your titles. I love that you've gone places where other company haven't gone before. Such as this wax melt here called Don't Be a Dick. <laughs> Shaped as a blue dick. That's great. Look at those little dicks and balls. Salty bourbon cream. Ooh, salty. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that should made the dick one salty. <laughs> Salty bourbon cream scent soy blend wax melts. That is a mouthful. Vegan friendly. Okay, Adele, I can't read all of these. This one is raising awareness for men's health. Don't be a dick, go get checked. Everything from prostate to testicular cancer to erectile dysfunction. Whatever it is, please go and get it checked out. See, I love that. This collection is also for anyone who has ever been made to feel bad by someone else. Don't be a dick, treat each other good. Hallelujah. All right, let's open this bad boy up. You bad boy. So now I'm gonna put a dick on my face. Oh yeah, I can smell the bourbon in that. That is really nice. I don't even drink bourbon, but okay, I'm gonna put two dicks on my face. One for each nostril. Ah! <laughs> you gotta look at the dicks. Yeah, I'll hold them by the balls so you can. Holding it by the tip and the balls. There we go, can you see it? See the two little dicks? Don't be a dick. Again, that's a subtle, I don't like smells that like hit you in the face. That's nice. And what I love about that is that it's completely different from the first three that we've so far done. So yeah, don't be a dick. If someone's being a dick, you could buy in this and then, you know, how it speaks for itself. Don't be a dick. So the next one is Cherry Cola and it is shaped like a Ouija board. And she has a whole chronic goth series, which is really cool. So a lot of the items that I selected were from that series because they're the ones that kind of tickled my fancy or sparked my interest. I never really liked Cherry Cola. I mean, Cola, they were onto a good thing. I don't really need to add cherry to it. So let's give this one a smell. Yeah, I'm not a fan. That smells like 
Yeah, a bit like cherry medicine to me. It's okay, I can't like all of them. That thing's fucking huge. Like, make sure you get a big wax melt because there's there's not one of those breaky things where you could break it in half. I mean, it's fine. Anyone that likes cherry is gonna like that. I just, I'm not a fan. So the next one we're having a look at is called Beauty in Darkness. It is a love heart shape and it is spiced plum. Yeah, wow, this girl likes glitter. There's glitter on everything. That's subtle. You know, the thing is with wax melts is, is that the scent gets more intense the longer that that burns. Mm, that's a nice like office one. It's very autumn-y to me. This one caught my eye. It's entitled, I'm a fucking rainbow. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much unicorn stuff in my house now because my three-year-old son just loves it. Ooh, summer fruits. This is great. Australia is just going into spring here. The weather has warmed up. Ooh, that is pretty. Yes. Come on, mama. What are you in the shop? Oh, you're a cute little sheep. You're a ram. You're a ram. Oh, that, that's nice. Summer fruits. You guys have to get that one. And you know how lovely that would look when it melts? Look at that. The ram's bottom, <laughs> sheep's butt. Same thing. Mm, that's really nice. That's really summery. That's uplifting. How beautiful does that look? Now I do believe that if you are unable to get my coffin expensive, she also has these little, little tiny versions of my frankincense and myrrh in exactly the same scent and you will get three of them. I should check the website, but I think it's like two or three or four pound. It's not much and that's really light. So I wouldn't imagine postage would be too dear on that one. Now it's funny. It's not really funny. That's the wrong word, but it is kind of funny. Once you start talking about bipolar, it's funny how many people you actually know that have had either contact with it or have been diagnosed themselves. My neighbor freely admits that she's bipolar. My husband recently got diagnosed with bipolar. An old teacher that we used to work with at our old school was bipolar. I think there's a lot of undiagnosed bipolar as well. And I think that just comes down to different countries, medical systems, and possibly lazy doctors. People are a bit funny about going to the doctors anyway and speaking about depression and then they just assume it's depression and don't dig any deeper and just give you an antidepressant without really putting you onto a psychiatrist or a psychologist, whichever one it is, or a neurologist. <laughs> My husband had to see a neurologist to be diagnosed as bipolar. So it's very interesting. Oh, dark musk and poisoned apple. Let's open this one up. And this one's in the shape of a brain, which I just fucking love. Mmm, ooh, poisoned apple. I'm not getting as much musk as I want. I love musk. I'm getting more apple from that, but that's glorious. Look at the fluoro green on that. Wouldn't that just look wonderful once it's melting? It's got a little bit of glitter there. I've had so many re requests for a collection to represent bipolar disorder, previously known as manic depression. I did not know that. It is a condition that affects your moods from one extreme to another. Tell me about it. Undiagnosed bipolar is really hard to live with. I've <laughs> suffered through that. First hand. So if you feel like you're a little bit more than depressed, I encourage you to go to your doctor, speak to someone about it. There's nothing wrong with needing help. And there's nothing wrong with needing medication either. If, if your brain's a little bit out of whack and not firing the right way, you may need some chemicals to just like adjust the balance. All right, we're through one box. Ooh, okay, so this one's black cherry and it's just called depression. I feel ya. Man, last week I thought I was getting my period, but I got PMS like a week before. Your PMS is supposed to be like two, three days at the moment before your period. I'm like, this is not PMS. This, this is some serious fucking dark depression. And I was just, I was working on Gone Away, which will obviously be on way before this video gets out because it's uploading to YouTube right now. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. There was, the, there were a few pinnacle things that I don't want to go into, but yeah. Depression, when it strikes, it strikes fucking hard. Oh, I just, I don't like cherry. I wanted to like this one. I can't do cherry. Anything with cherry and it just smells like that terrible medicine that my mom tried to give me when I was a kid. It smells like Dr. Pepper. It smells like Coca-Cola when they put cherry in it, cherry cola. They should not do that. But this is a black brain with red blood on it and that's going to look fabulous when it melts. If you like cherry, you're going to like that one. I love that each of these have a little message from the seller. That's really nice. Oh, the camera died, so I took that opportunity to make a cup of tea. I bought 
two spare batteries so it's not really a problem anymore when the camera dies I mean it'll stop filming <laughs> but at least I could pop a fresh new battery in we were just talking about the depression melt and I was saying perhaps you've got a friend that like you know has something going on some kind of issue but you don't know how to broach it with them so I was just starting to speak about these little thank you boxes which I think are a terrific idea now I'm not sure if you can select what goes inside them or if she has different ones that you can pick from well let's have a look at what's inside this one here this will be a lovely gift to receive from someone and I'm just opening it straight up there's a little card here so we're gonna have a look at that oh there's a rosary what the heck is that doing in there that's lovely and then the actual box itself that looks like a donut box doesn't it so it comes with black ribbon I've just taken that off isn't that lovely let's have a look inside if you've got a friend like me that loves scents and melting things, this would just be a really nice way to try a lot of products. But also say thank you in a very unique way. Okay, so I think this is her Halloween thank you one. So it came with a little cover there. I'm just going to open that off. You've got a business card on top for Bubba's Melts. Thank you so much for inspiring the new coffin box in your name. This is a message to me. I did, I did not know this. <laughs> Thanks also for helping to promote my tiny little business, which I now depend upon as no one else will employ me due to my illness after losing my job. So this literally means everything. That little note means everything. Thank you. And I'm happy to do it because I adore your products. <gasps> this one is going to be super popular. I know it. In there, you cheeky rascal and just in time for Halloween look at that okay so we've got pumpkin spice sacrificial blood fresh linen oh look at this look at the sphinx isn't she gorgeous oh I've just ruined it I can't put that back in the little divider thingy whoopsie doopsie oh and look we've got pumpkins this is lovely. I just want to eat everything. My hands are all waxy from touching everything. I would be really happy with that. If someone gave me that as a gift, as an alternative person, as a goth myself, that would be a really thoughtful gift. I've added a thank you box for you as a treat, as I think you deserve it. I'm spoiled. These lovely people spoil me. Okay, we have a few more wax melts to go over. And then we've got candles. I feel like I may have done this one already. This one's Sacrificial Blood and it is a black skull with a little bit of green blood on it. It's called What's Your Potion? But I'm fairly certain we've had something in another shape also called Sacrificial Blood. I mean, that's okay. You can make different shapes and put the same scent in it. Okay, this one is called Rest in Peace, Rock Salt and Driftwood. And it's a tombstone. This is a bit asmr isn't it, as I'm opening it up. Mmm, that's very fresh. That's one like you would put in a bathroom when you've got like guests coming over and you want to trick them into thinking that your house always smells like the sea. Mmm, I lost a little bit of paper for that one. I haven't smelled that scent before. Driftwood and rock salt. I like that. I like being able to be surprised because I go through a lot of this stuff. Okay, this one, I hope I'm saying this right. Nyctophobia is the fear of the dark. Ooh, spooky. Phobias are often treated with humor instead of understand. This one's the scent poisoned apple and it is a giant moon shaped wax. Yeah, I've smelled that one before. Ooh, look at the shape. I love that it's not a perfectly symmetrical moon. It's got character to it. Mm. I still think that wild berry one could be my favorite after frankincense of myrrh, of course. Ooh, coconut. Ooh, I can smell these ones already. A mouth-watering edible smelling fragrance where newly ripened coconuts are accompanied by fruity and sweet vanilla hints. So this is also part of the Chronic Goth series. And we've got some runes there on the front of the little wax melts. These are a smaller size, so if you're not digging the big ones. Oh yeah, that's very coconutty. You can actually smell the milkiness, the creaminess in that. And I, you know what I mean? I love my creamy scents. I love how the back of it as well has all the allergy warnings and that sounds bad. Like they got... <laughs> It's just, there's complete transparency with what's in it, you know, which is important. In case you're allergic to it, shit like that happens. Blind as a bat. <laughs> Green bat. Still wanted to open these ones immediately. Enchanted woodland scent. Oh, that sounds good. This collection is inspired for my love of bats, Ophelia, and is for anyone that has any kind of troubles with their eyesight, like my son. Mmm. That's for, I can smell lime in that. Yeah, I like that one. So we've got a gorgeous fluoro green little bat. That could be my third favorite. Very type of negative. Not just because it's fucking green, but if you know anything about Peter Steele, he loved being in the forest, in the woods. He wanted to build a house. 
on this gorgeous lake. If you've seen the video, you know what I'm talking about. The leaves all falling off and changing colors. It, it, it looked amazing. Such a shame that I never got to do that. Marshmallow and poisoned apples. We have smelt this before, but it is understandably they are in the shape of white skulls. So even when you buy one scent, you get two, which I think is really cool. And they last a long time if you haven't used wax melts before. Honestly, I could put mine in for a good like two or three weeks before I start to notice the smell isn't there anymore. Oh, you're pretty. Brain fog. I can relate. Also called baby brain. <laughs> brain fog is a very common symptom associated with ME CFS that I experience very regularly. It is almost like there is a blanket of fog on my brain blocking me from accessing it. How interesting. Oh, wow. That smells like that real vanilla that you buy. The vanilla essence. That's that's very strong. Okay, that's one of my favorites. Mm, and look, it's a blue brain with this gorgeous aqua blue glitter on it. That would melt really well. The one I'm so excited to see melt though is the rainbow one. That smells so fruity. Vanilla is one of my favorites so far. Of course, mine, frankincense of myrrh, the wild berry. I will give away. <laughs> I will give away some stuff that I like as well, but I will definitely give away the cola ones because like they need to go to a good home okay now i also have some candles to show you too now these are obviously heavy they are a lot more expensive for her to ship internationally so just look into that before you purchase them like i said the wax melts even like if you were to buy one little coffin they're a lot lighter than a solid heavy candle so this one is called a lilith Lilith. Luxury soy candle. Again, it comes with all the information and instructions on how to burn it. I didn't know you were supposed to trim the wick. I just kind of lit the fucking candle and hope for the best. White musk and clary sage. I don't know what that means. That is so fresh. Oh yeah. So that's what this one looks like. It's a safe scent. It's a little out there, but not quite crazy out there it's very fresh yeah if you want to try a slightly different scent but you don't want to like you know go nuts that might be the one for you i love this one look happy fucking birthday happy fucking birthday to you happy fucking birthday to you happy fucking birthday you fucking motherfucker happy fucking birthday to fucking you okay oh candy floss okay Ooh, that one smells like alcohol to me. So I've got a lovely blue with a little bit of red sprinkles. And I'm getting like bourbon from that again, because there was one that was bourbon. Oh, okay, I'm gonna burn that right away. These come in these nice little aluminium tins. Boxes with tissue paper in it, so they're going to be safe when they arrive. What's this one here? Depression. I wonder if this is the same scent as the wax melts. Oh, it probably is, it's black cherry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's give that one away. <laughs> I'm gonna make a competition now. I will pick one, one of the comments from this video. Just simply comment on it. You don't have to do anything else. Just comment on it. And maybe five days after I release this video, I will pick a winner. So yeah, good luck. <laughs> and I will give you all of the cherry ones that I don't like. It's fine, it's honest collaboration. Okay, and this one is baby powder scent. This is one I was very excited about. So this is in a gold aluminium box. Candles with awareness. Oh, it really does smell like baby powder. It's really important that you buy soy candles. And the main reason is, I've said this before in my last video, and many of you didn't know this. If you buy cheap ones from like the $2 shops or dollar store in America or the reject shop or even Target in Australia or America, you need to check what they're putting in the candles because a lot of the fragrances and even the wax that they use, which is all chemical, is toxic for you. And it might be like safe if you burn it outside, but if you put it in a little room and then you're breathing all that shit in, not good. Oh, wow, look at the wick. I'm really curious about that wick. It's like a stick. That's interesting. Okay, let's let's light that motherfucker up. Let's see what happens. I'll be right back. Okay, here is the candle. Here is my fluoro green lighter. Are we lit? I've never seen that before. 
Okay, we're just gonna let her do her thing. I really enjoy doing these types of videos and collaborations because it's like I'm giving something back to you. If you guys also enjoy these things, you can go and purchase them and our houses can smell the same. It is not an affiliate collaboration. So what that means is I'm not making money from this. I was sent these products to do the video. I had an awesome time designing my own wax melt, which I've never done before. And I just think it's super awesome that I'm at the point where I can do these types of things and then you guys go buy them. It's so cool. Mm, that candle's making a different sound. I like it. It burns differently to just a normal wick. Maybe that's why they do it. It's crackling. You guys are all going to be like, yeah, they're like a crackle wick. I can't believe you didn't know that. I didn't. I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. Okay, so all the details about how you can buy my coffin with the cross-shaped wax belts will be in the description below. Just head to Bubba's Melts website and I'm sure you'll be able to find it there. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. Please give this video a share, even if it's just your Facebook page or Twitter account or whatever or Instagram. It really does help my channel and I appreciate it a lot. So I will be picking the winner who is going to be sent all of the cherry ones that I don't like. Five days after I release this video. Thank you so much to Barbara's Melts for contacting me. I wish you all the success in the world. I hope this video brings you more customers and followers. Please go and add them on Instagram and show them some love. Oh, I love that crackling. That's lovely. Oh, just before I go, because you guys are always starting to ask me, I'm wearing Everlasting Veil or something. It's Kat Von D. It's a sparkly one. It's the only one she's got in hot pink. I also put it on my eyes, which I think is pretty cool. I used the Alyssa Edwards, I think collaborative eyeshadow palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a hot pink one. On my eyes, we've got Marc Jacob Beauty. I do have a review of them coming up. It may be on before this video, so I'm sorry if it's out of whack. We have my little coffin necklace. It is a very dark green, like a forest black green with glitter in it. This was made by my friend Missy, AKA Manku Gil. She has a shop, so I will link that below. You can purchase that as well. And I can't remember the name of this, but I think it's like BBY Cutie or something. This solid necklace. I'm so in love with it. I will put the link down below as well. These earrings are by Halloween 13. You need to go and check them out. She's Australian. They are not just coffins with a crucifix in the middle. They are glitter. And hopefully I haven't missed anything that I'm wearing. I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you're all well. See you.